Hello there, greetings. I am back, as you can see. I have a new installment here. This is a uh, sea salt lamp. Of course, when you plug in, but getting one you can't do. I don't know. Either way, it's nice. It's good. It sends out good vibrations. Well, it's working, as far as I can tell. So it's better to have the OK Google thing, but of course, that's behind it. They will release all the the NSA-ness of it all. Yeah, well, they're going to listen to you no matter what. So you can run, you can hide, you can do whatever you want. Just me. They, they'll hear it if they want to hear it. They'll connect to you no matter what. So You can pretend that you're hiding all you want. You can use Bing instead of Google. It doesn't really matter. You can hide under your bed. It doesn't really matter. They're connecting to what they need to connect to. It's all energy anyway. You have nothing to hide. I mean, what do we have to hide in the long run? So, can't hide anyway. So, it's all. By the way, as we, as we go into more of a fourth dimensional world, yeah, you feel like, well, for third dimension, it makes sense why you have secrets. And that's, and you're, and even in fourth dimension, I feel like you'll still have a certain amount of secrets. You don't really have to give everybody out your whole everything about you. Nobody wants to hear all that. Uh, but uh, more will become more uh, open to say something around those lines. All right, um, I was just going to do a quick connection. I did some questions on Christmas. I'm on, I'm on a past Wednesday, and I'm on Thursday. So I think so. Thursday. Yeah. So we'll have our tomorrow. So I won't be able to do anything tomorrow night. So um, for those that are new to all this, this is IvanTeller.com. We have private sessions. Oh, not this week. Close down most of the week. I think Friday has a little bit of an opening. Uh, yeah, I can purchase here, wherever it feels comfortable for you. You have Google Hangouts, Skype, Zoom, and channeling by phone. It's all recorded. If you want it recorded, if you do not, that's okay also. It's on automatic, basically, but I can always turn it off or delete it. Uh, you always have a webinar. You have a submit question. This is what I'm talking about. I'm sending them on Thursday to give you an idea. Uh, so yeah, we have Oracle cards here. And I'll have the PDF here eventually. I forgot about it, actually. Oh, well. Oops. We also have work. Uh, we have Jake. I don't think I have the site here. Oh, yeah, Tower Studios. And this is more of the Jake comic. We have, oh, I didn't put the new cartoon up here, but anyway. Uh, Jake part two issue two will be coming out soon. Here's some cartoons and uh, Definitely going to put this in a place. This is going to go somewhere eventually. Um, yeah, who can't love that face? So eventually he's going to make his way into uh, some some animated world somewhere. Just takes time. Um, there's advertisement. I've been doing advertising for him, but yeah, I just have to meet. Yeah, I just have to connect to the right crowd. It's easier said than done. Also, Spirit Social, uh, submit a question, healing, ch uh, channel, uh, past life regression, message from Yeshua, channel consulting, five minute healing, spiritual connections, one question from a day, chakra healing from a day, soul pain from Stephanie, Joe, Joe Craig here from Miguel. Uh, there's something else, and I don't remember what it was. Also, I have uh, I iTunes and Google, uh, the app to just know what's going on, basically. It's a quick connection to the videos. It's just, you know, I don't make anything from it. It's just, you know, it's just there for hopefully assistance. I say it's technically like an advertisement somewhere. I don't ever tell, well, I advertise it here. That's about it. So, um, oh yeah, Yeshua came in. I'm not sure if he's going to come in again, but uh, Yeshua came in. I went to Universal Studios. And um, kind of a long day of driving, as usual, as you can tell. 
that was good. It went off went off pretty well. Weather was good. Uh, this Yeshua said about uh, maybe controversial for some. Not everybody wants to hear this, but uh, connect to what is right. Well, connect to what you want to connect to. Uh, some people want to connect to not so friendly beings, but you should have the right to do whatever you want to do. You know, some in the spiritual community are like, whoa, what is this? You're bad. Doesn't mean you're bad. You're just, I mean, any soul, I mean, you're just connecting to what is, what, you know, you got to discover yourself. If that is something you need to do, do what, do what you need to do. Some in, in the spiritual community are very good at judging. Uh, they say, oh, I'm of the light. I'm this, I'm that. And they judge like, nobody's like they got their judgment call on you know it's you got their bullhorn of judgment and they don't feel like they're judging but they're judging so that's a tough it's a tough lesson there but it is something that's quite common to those only want to connect to positive beings nothing wrong with that but realize some souls just need to explore and there's nothing wrong with that. Obviously, can I do not so friendly beings or consequences to that, but that's, you got to know what you're getting into. Just like robbing a bank, you want to rob a bank or rob this or do this. You, you got to try, you know, you know, or drugs or whatever that might feel that's not right for you. I mean, you got to, how do you know unless you try? You got to be careful. I've had some people that connect to beings that are not so friendly. Of course, they're already kind of disturbed already, the person. So when they connect to war energies, it was like going to happen no matter what. No matter what I would say, it was not going to stop them from doing what they're going to do. And sometimes it's going to end up in not so good places. Just the way it is. Um, some have connected to dark beings and just some souls just, that's their way to connect to a lower astral and they end up, you know, no longer living because of that. It's there, you know, they have to visit themselves. It's just part of the process. It's a tough, it's a tough subject, but it's very real. It's very honest. You're not saying things that people don't want to hear, but it's just, you got to connect what's right for you. So it's just pure honesty and some don't want to hear it, which is fine. Uh, that's fine, um, but you know, having the soul, having these choices, you gotta express that. You know, you gotta express your free will. So if I connect to high, remember the high vibration is always there. It is there for a reason. And if you want to discover the dark, that's up to you. But remember, the high vibration, positive energy is always there for you. No judgment, even if some are out there judging. <laughs> either way it's still there it's not going to judge you some might be connecting the high vibration and judging through that energy but it's up to them but either way it's, it's not an easy energy it's not an easy subject but you know just you know you got to explore you got to indulge in what's right for you of course so that's what makes life exciting you know add that excitement whatever it might be of course so all right, uh, we're going to connect to uh, somebody. I felt a couple of somebodies here. I'm not sure who. Sometimes it's cool here. Sometimes it's hot here. Something it's this and that. So I think this is a pretty good fixture here. I'm not sure if I'm going to have it on all the time. Probably not. We'll see. It doesn't seem to be. It's not hot or anything, so that's good. So, all right. Um... Might do a conscious channeling. We'll see who comes through. Uh, we'll just, uh, one moment. Um, yeah, I give Ivan a little bit of a break. <laughs> one moment. Mm. I felt the blue avians around like crazy, so maybe they'll come through. I don't know what's going on with them. All right, we'll just do a conscious connection of them. Let's see what that. All right, I guess I need to come through. All right, blessings and uh, see you soon.
Greetings to you. We are the Blue Avians of the Galactic Federation of Light. We are, yes, assisting your ascension process. Many of you are going to remove this materialism from your Earth society eventually when time is right. Realize many will connect more with fashion and items that uh, bring more self-fulfillment. And be, be surprised, fashion is actually a strong energy. You realize what you are wearing can heighten your vibration. And sometimes making it yourself is for the better. So do see, yes, we know someone might find this comical, but making your own clothes for those that are ready for that. And some will be making it hmm, for the... Yes, listen. Some will be making these clothes and making this a profession. High vibrational, fourth dimensional clothes. It doesn't have to be a jumpsuit like you're flying through space. It just be a high energy vibration. So we believe some will find a profession in this in this field to follow what is heightened for them and for others. And this is high quality. This is not something I don't believe will be made in your China. And some of it might. It, does it? Either way, it's made by the human race. So it matters most. But we believe some will go into that fashion energy to make clothes for themselves, clothes for others, and transform your planet. Music, yes, very high vibrational. Even words as for books helps also, but clothing assists also. And jewelry heightens your vibration, but clothing plays a big role in your transformation. I know some of you might find that comical to a degree, but you'll be surprised how helpful it surely will be. It's something to think about. Some of you are looking for something to do in your profession. You want to help the spiritual communities, help with the ascension process, Something to think about. That is all we have. Yes, we gave you some fashion advice. Blessings to your societies. Much love. Greetings, we are with the Yayao. We are, yes, assisting your planet's consciousness to a more high vibration. For our energies that are connected to you, yes, we are normally very quiet on your society, actually. We are assisting much of your animal life to find its right owner. As for humans understanding more of the animals on your earth. The more of the alien connections between you and your animal people, that you are no different than them, they are citizens like you of your planet. They are, they should be as treated as if any other human on your world. And that will be discovered more on your planet as you, as a human, yes, spiritually grows up a bit. Because some of you, yes, will take your, those of your animal friends in your kingdom as family members, as you already do, but take it an extra step and understand what your animal friend is saying and seeing. Because your animal friends are there to help you have focus on your direction and your ascension process. As they were, yes, open up energies, they are bringing also alien life to you also. They bring aliens to you and sometimes they push some of them away that are not needed as we're causing difficulty, beings that do not need to be around. You realize they cannot cure all diseases, but they can help the human soul heal, especially through hard times. So they're there for hard times. Those that usually have an animal in their family is usually 
that animals are to help you through difficulties. Of course, those are not having, everyone has a difficulty of some kind. And not to say if you do not have an animal, of course, there's a lot of upkeep that's along with it. There's a lot of difficulties with having an animal, but much of that is coming easily to your society. Over time, it will get easier also. But you realize how important these animal wor worlds are. As yes, these planets of alien, feline, canine, bird, these worlds are not just connected to you through physicality, but their dimensions are connected to your planet also. Your bird beings of all kind, insectoids of all kind, types, all have an alien connection. So basically there are dimensions where these beings are right around the corner or right in front of you for that matter. It is something for you to connect with. There are civilizations over civilizations over civilizations that are here with you. And to open that eye, to see them, to feel them, you all feel you are uh, human. Yes, you have other friends around you. And a lot of these are alien beings that are humanoid similar to you. This will assist with your ascension awakening. Some of you are connected to the animal dimensions and see the civilization right there and right there. Instead of this, oh, they're just an animal, they don't know anything. It's actually the other way. As you're, this is a human that doesn't know anything, but that's okay. As you are being taught to raise your vibration and see more clearly to these eyes of yours. As the eye is not exactly, it is very deceiving as you can see. There is much going on in your universe that you are not seeing. As there is many ships in your skies on a daily basis and you are always being visited. But they don't interfere because you have to follow your mission. But many of your missions are becoming more close to alien contact. And that is all we can say at this time. Blessings to you. Oh. All right. All right. Take care, everyone. Blessings.